hello everyone welcome back to force galaxy and in today's video we are going to create two different component using form component and one is to view the account details and another is to edit the account details so let's start uh, this is the documentation for force record view form and we are going to use two attribute the one is object api name the API name of the object and the record ID the ID of the record to be displayed so now we are going to create a lightning component using lightning record view form tag which is to display the records of the account object now and we are going to add it on the record page so I'm selecting the lightning record page now adding the attribute lightning record view form and attribute record id and object api name as we have implemented the force as record id now this tag adds a hidden attribute to our lightning component which we can access by its name that is record id so my object is account and we dot record id from here we get the id of the account object now as this is the view form so we are going to add the tag of output field this is to display the fields of the account record And the fill name we have provided which will going to fetch the values for these fields this is the API name which we have added in the fields name I think our component is done now it's time to add it on the record page so let's edit page this is my component lightning view form successfully added now save and here is my component congratulations and it hardly took two minutes to create this component and all our account details the fields which we have added in our tag record view form all are displayed on this component now let's add the adding title over here i'm going to use lightning card which contain title body action footer for now we're just going to add the title for my view form now we are done with our lightning view form now let's switch to now add another component here that is a lightning record edit form in this we are going to edit the details of for our account object as in specification you can see we are having the different attribute in which actions are also there that is on load on error on submit on success the in this uh, actions what we can do we can call our custom handler in which we can provide different functionality what we want on on loading on on error what the different functionality we want we can add in these actions now in the below this we are going to add the another tag for lightning record edit form and now attributes object api name same on account now we are going to add all the actions that is on error on load on submit on success on load this 
on load event fires when the form is loaded and here we have to call our controller handler and on submit this is event is fired automatically by the framework when the user clicks a button that is has a type of submit now um, you see that we are going to add one button also with of type submit similarly on success event is fired after the form is successfully saved and the on error event is fired when there is an error on the form submission now i want to edit want to update my record so in this case we want our fields to be in editable mode so using lightning input fields as now we want our fields in the edit form so uh, adding the same fields the fields which we have added in the previous form website type and industry now these are the different actions and in the actions we have to call different controller methods now for now i'm just adding uh, not writing any custom action or functionality i'm simply defining the methods in my controller in my js controller on load on error on success and on submit now calling all the js controller now we are going to add button in our form that is of type submit so whenever we click on our submit button on save button it automatically save the record for our account object we can also define a custom button in this case we are going to add type equals to button and on click action we are going to call our controller js controller method on on click and in that method we are going to call our submit method this is the same method which we see in the specification for record edit form. Now it's time to see our component on record page of account. Mm -mm, something we miss out and this is record ID. Yes, we want record ID to save the changes for this particular record. Now again refresh yes as you can see here is my edit form and here I'm having the predefined values now let's change the value save yes my changes are reflected successfully so this is our uh, lightning record edit form using this we can also edit the record with the specified field in this example we have added the record and we can also create a record using specified fields if we want to display record fields as a read only in lightning record edit form then we use lightning output field component to specify to specify those fields so in our next video we're going to cover up the lightning record form with example Till then take care, goodbye, thank you.